Hello everyone and welcome to episode 29 of the TCC CTC Link blog. I know this is a different day than what I usually publish, um, but uh, I thought since we didn't have the contest anymore that Mondays might be a better day. That way if questions come up during the week people can contact me. Um, I want to start off this episode by saying congratulations to Lita Kue for being our episode 28 winner. She was able to host Link down in the enrollment services for a couple of weeks. And uh, they were the overall winners. They hosted Link more often than any other department on campus. So kudos to that group. Um, and so Link does have a new home, and I'll, I'll talk about, a little bit about that in the next episode. Uh, but what I want to focus on today is I want to talk a little bit about reporting. Now, in the PeopleSoft environment, there's going to be uh, a few different ways where we can pull data out of the system. Uh, one is through delivered reports from the PeopleSoft environment itself. And what I mean by that is in the PeopleSoft environment, I could go in and, and say look up students and I could, I could uh, pull up a certain subset of students if I wanted to. I could say, okay, I want to do a search uh, students from winter 2012 and that have financial aid and then I could pull that information out of PeopleSoft directly. And then I, and in most cases, when you do those kinds of searches, you have the ability to extract that data in an Excel uh, spreadsheet so you can manipulate it if you wanted to. Another way that you'll be able to get data out of the system is through the OBI tools or Oracle Business Intelligence tools. And with these tools, you'll have um, delivered dashboards. So these will be dashboards that you could just go to and look at or open up from the OBI suite and take a look at data in a dashboard format. So it'll have charts, graphs, those kinds of things. Um, but you can also then extract that data and into Excel or some other application that if you wanted to manipulate the data or, or you know, run some different uh, looks at that data. But uh, what I kind of want to spend a little more time on talking about is uh, PeopleSoft Query. And that's a tool that's in, inside the PeopleSoft environment and it allows you to build uh, a query or a search uh, that you can then run whenever you want. Um, and uh, we have about 20 people on campus that have gone through PeopleSoft Query training so they know how to build queries in the system. And uh, the State Board is recommending a particular process that we use uh, to, to validate queries and test queries before, uh, before they're actually run in the production environment. And the reason for that is if, if a query is created incorrectly, it could cause problems, performance issues in the, in the production environment, or it could crash the system altogether. And so they've developed this um, recommended strategy, and I'll walk through that a little bit. There's a flow chart here. So you'll see here in the flow chart that we have um, production development, production test, uh, pr production queries mitigated, and then replicated reporting. And so uh, I'll kind of walk through this process. So in the development environment, this is where um, a college end user, somebody that needs data, they may get together with uh, a super user or somebody that's gone through PeopleSoft query training, and they may uh, have a conversation with them about what kind of report it is that they need. And they'll work with that individual um, to uh, develop uh, a report that they could then run at a future date. And so then the super user would actually then build the, the query in PeopleSoft Query for the end user. And this would all be done in the production development environment. So this is an environment that has data that's about a month old, um, but it's a perfect place to kind of build the query. And then once, um, once they've built it, then they can kind of run some internal tests and make sure that it's pulling the data that they want. But then that would need to be escalated to another um, area in the college, and they recommend IT, uh, but, we, but we're looking at different strategies for, for TCC. Um, uh, but anyway, well, that person would then kind of make sure that um, the naming convention is right, the security roles are set up correctly, and that the query is uh, efficient and running well. And then when that's done, then that query, query will then be escalated up to the state board, and then it'll be moved into the production test environment. And this is where the query will get tested by the state board, and they'll make sure that it's running effectively and it won't necessarily crash the system. And uh, that's this uh, area here. Um, and so then they'll run it, run a test on it, and if they determine that maybe there's a, a better way to set up the query where um, maybe it won't be such a, a burden on the, on the environment, then they'll kind of make those recommendations to college staff and then we can uh, tweak the query or fix it and, and, and go with their suggestions and then move it back, uh, back to them for testing again. But if it's, if it's test fine and it's ready to be moved into production, then, then the state board would move it into the production environment. But this still isn't where we're going to be able to run the query. Um, they move it into production because every 15 minutes the production environment is copied over into the replicated reporting instance. 
And so they'll move it into production. 15 minutes later, it'll get moved into replicated reporting. And then this is where college staff will, will run the query. So this is kind of just a, a brief overview of, of the query, PS query uh, reporting strategy. Um, we, there is, there's a group on campus that will be discussing this in a little more detail to make a recommendation for TCC structure. Um, we have a reporting group that we would like to leverage for some of, the, some of this uh, process. Uh, but anyway, th there will be a recommendation that will be pushed forward and I think when, when that becomes a little more clear then I may revisit this topic again just to kind of let folks know uh, the direction that we're kind of uh, working towards. Uh, but that's all I have uh, for today, so stay tuned in a couple weeks for uh, episode 30. Alright, thanks.